Good afternoon. Welcome to our Dell Music Lounge live audience. Say hello on the radio. We want to thank our friends at Lone River Ranch Water and Dell Technologies. We mostly want to thank the record company who are using part of their day to hang out with us here in the Dell Music Lounge. The show, which was originally going to be at Emo's, is now at the Scoot Inn. Late announcement there, but that's an outdoor show, and so uh, that is a step up. That is a little uh, more room. A little more room, that's a good thing. So tonight at the Scoot Inn, you will find the record company. The record is called Play Loud. We're going to talk in a moment, but first, live on air from our Dell Music Lounge, we welcome back the record company. Off the side of the road Gotta get myself up Off the side of the road Where things are looking clear Than they ever been Don't know how it'll end But I know where to begin I gotta get myself up Off the side of the road I quit lying to myself And let the truth be told nah, I quit lying to myself and let the truth be told Yeah, man, I woke up burned out by the sun Tired of laying still, so I'm moving along With a line of myself and let the truth be told Hey, hey, hey Ooh, ooh Hey, hey, I gotta pick myself up off the ground Pick myself up off the ground And I gotta horn myself down a brand new home, yeah Horn myself down a brand new home well, now I got that answer to my biggest question Had to lose where I was to get my direction Hung myself down a brand new home Oh, and the tears that I'm hiding ain't for crying The tears I hide, they ain't for crying I'm never gonna let them start spilling out Pour down my body and they flood the ground My tears up and hide Ain't for crying Hey, hey, I gotta pick myself up off the ground Pick myself up off the ground, that's right. I'll let the truth be told. I baby let the truth be told. I'll let the truth be told. I baby let the truth be told. Mama let the truth be told. Good Lord, babe, I'm gonna let the truth be told. Myself, 
let the truth be told Well, now my head is heavy and my heart is empty Spirit is strong, my legs are ready Get myself up off the side of the road Whoa, I'm lying to myself Let the truth be told Come on, tell me Pick myself up off the ground again. Thank you so much. We thought we'd start off with that uh, track that we released a couple years ago. I'm going to play a few off the new record now. Thank you, Mark. Uh, we are the record company. I'm Chris Voss, uh, born on a dairy farm in Wisconsin, moved to Los Angeles a while back, formed a rock and roll band with these two rascals who are from Philly and upstate New York originally. And um, yeah, well. I think we're here to hear me sing, not talk, but got to say something while you're changing guitars. To everybody out there listening, thanks for supporting the station, and thanks for listening. Thanks for having us back. We're going to keep on moving. This is one off the new record called How High. Coming up from the shelter, rolling out on your own, rising out of the shadow, a lot of highway to go. And if you had a drop, it would you bring it or make it stop? Could you? The bottom tear a hole in your soul. Cause if you wanna raise the ceiling, gotta do something you believe in. Wait too long, the door's gonna close. What well, no? Life. I was feeling mighty low once In a breakaway minute You gotta dig in or fight Are you in it to win there? Not just to long for the east area, no In the morning you see rain let it baptize you again Don't lose your place Don't lose your faith You choose your way Oh, How high, how high, how high Do you want to fly? So high, so high Thought I died and came back to life Thank you so much.
The Record Company live on Austin City Limits Radio here in our Dell Music Lounge. So we've done this, I don't know, four or five times over the years. And admission time. I, I always thought this was a really good band, but kind of a one-trick pony. Well, that's all right. And, and it, wa- it wasn't a bad... I love proving tr- people wrong. It, it wasn't a bad trick. Yeah, what was the trick? <laughs> But it kind of was for, for a, a little while. This record, bigger, bouncier, fuller sounding, by design. Yeah. I mean, did you come to that realization that I don't know how long we can do this same thing or a similar thing over and over? Yeah, I think it was, well, the, the, there's two things. The radio singles all seem to be coming from the same part of the, what we were writing. You know, So we'd write these whole records, and then the radio singles, the ones that would get picked, would, kind of getting similar and we were like all right we got to change this up you know um so one of the things i think that uh we learned from listening to our heroes like springsteen said uh you know um if you watch real closely the heroes you have will leave you the roadmap to how to do it correctly and with a career and have a career and when we look at the records that we admire um and the artists we admire the records evolve you know if you look at the stones you know stones now does not sound like Let It Bleed, right? It's, it's, there's an evolution. Uh, Beatles 1 through 4 doesn't sound like Rubber Soul. It doesn't sound like Sgt. Pepper's. And you can go on Zeppelin 1, uh, you know, Song of Me is the Same, or, or uh, uh, House of the Holy, excuse me. And we just uh, kind of, Alex had produced the first two records, and uh, it, was, uh, you know, it was great for everybody. It was low cost, you know, it was uh, pretty easy. We'd go to Alex's living room, we'd Free. record it. Yeah, I mean, that was the funny part when we got on the radio um, with the first uh, song off the ground. We had recorded that with like six microphones, and you know it was not when the label picked it as the single. We were like, okay, you know, but uh, it's it just shows that you you don't know what's in your own music. Sometimes you don't know what's going to connect. A Ry Cooter said, "You never can predict. You know, you just got to do the best in your heart." And this this record was time to bring somebody in that could kick us around a little bit. Um, and takes to a new place. So we uh, we got with Dave Sardi, David Sardi, who's done like uh, uh, Modest Mouse, and he just did a new record, LCD Sound System, a bunch of stuff like that. And we all listened to a lot of different kinds of music, you know, Tame Impala, all this stuff. But also, you know, I'm listening to a lot of like old gospel, and that's always in there, and old blues. I'm a huge blues guy, um, Muddy and you know the Wolf and all that stuff. And we just felt like our songwriting, uh, we just wanted to get in there and have somebody who really held us accountable uh, to, to finding new ground. And uh, he challenged us to press to new areas. And wouldn't you agree, Al? It was like, as you had produced the first two records, what did you feel? Uh, well, I think for about 10 years, you know, recording in a living room with very basic equipment, that there was sort of we had kind of run the course of doing that, and we, we didn't want to make the same record over and over again. So um, I was really excited to bring in a new person, because I've never worked with a you know, proper quote-unquote producer before. I was just sort of doing it um, because it, somebody had to, and I just had the cables in the house to do it. So uh, I got to learn a lot um, on this record, which was great. Um, and we just got to explore a lot of new sounds that, you know, you, you run into the same sounds when you keep doing things yourself over and over again. So it was kind of a, someone with, who's made 200 records is gonna know more than you do. And uh, so we got to really like take in that knowledge from working with Dave. So it was, it was just a great experience. But then I imagine the additional challenge is you're challenging yourself. You're trying something new, you're doing yeah. something new, but you're doing it in the middle of a pandemic where you can go to the studio and go home. Yeah, we, we were the first band that he did during COVID. He's like, well, I've done hundreds of records and you're the first band that we ever did. And it was like in those days where things had just started to open up uh, to where you could do business like that, but you had to like test up, you had to go like a mask, there was all that stuff. So, you know, it was like, okay, who touched that guitar and all that. So that was negative, but what was, what was positive was there was nothing else to do. There was no distraction. There was no like person calling, being like, "Okay, you got a tour coming. You got this coming," or you know, even friends wanting to hang out. There was nothing but music. So it kind of took you simultaneously. For me, it took me back to uh, to being 14, where it just was like on the edge of my bed, and I'm trying to figure out 
how to make the best thing in my heart. And I think I took us all to that place. And we knew, you know, we had a choice on this record to either toe the line and not take any risks and do what probably would sustain, uh, be a non-reckless decision, and or, you know, put something out that could ruffle a few feathers or maybe do something else. But in the end, it's our record. And the one thing Dave said, he says, no matter what you do, it's yours. So we really believe in it. And uh, I think that's really important. It's like once you stop, in the beginning of a band, you're just thinking about writing a few songs and making them good. And I think as an artist, the day you stop thinking about writing a few songs and just making them good and true, you run out of songs. That's it. So, you know, uh, it really was kind of a full circle thing. And then I guess the third and final sort of heady piece of this is you ruffle a few feathers and you're not immediately on the road to know whether that's connecting right. with fans. Then you get to go back on the road yes. under weird circumstances, mm -hmm. uh, which is in itself its own head trip. Yeah. Um, and are there pieces of the road experience that you appreciate more now after the break? Well, I, I throw in that the first show back we did was uh, this festival kind of outside of Sacramento or something, was yeah. it? And, you know, we had the new album. We're like, we're going to play all the new songs. <laughs> and people are like, what are these They're songs? Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> So, and, yeah, you kind of learn and adjust and go, okay, well, and see what works, you know. And a lot of, we were talking about this the other night that, I forget how it came up, but, like, the songs for the first album, and some degree the second, those are songs that, you know, we turned 10 years old this year. And the yeah. first six years, or first five years, we didn't put out an out. We just put out songs here, EPs, but we would play those songs for five years before they made the album. Do you know what I mean? And you saw live what was working, and we'd introduce some, like On the Move was a song from the first album that we had a version of it that we liked, but then live we were doing it a little bit different. And we're like, that might be, that's the record, you know. These, you don't know, because you're just like, you, it's a reverse process. You're starting with the recording, then you take them out. And, but you can gauge, you can feel how people kind of, yeah, totally. the responses and stuff. And, and during this little window, does it feel normal up there? No, it no. feels so much better. <laughs> okay. It, um, I, I was gonna answer kind of philosophically, if I may, yep. as uh, I'm known to occasionally spin a yarn. Um, I came out of it, there were two things that happened that I didn't expect. One, I had never been, as, since the day I put on a guitar, I had always played in a band. My brother had a drum kit. We considered ourselves a band. We didn't know what we were doing. And I realized, like, as we were going through the pandemic, that uh, all of my emotional process went through that, through volume, through expressing that. So there was a part of you that had to relearn. It was like atrophied at 14. So I had to, like, reconnect and uh, reappreciate. I always have said, and I believe this, when we hit the stage, and, we, and I believe this very hard because of, uh, not bumming anybody out, but I just think I got to go all the way with this. I had a buddy of mine, I moved to L.A., he moved to Nashville. He was an amazing musician, had the same dream. He passed away of brain cancer at 34. Jo Josh Tobar, his name was. And I na named my guitar after him, by the way. And uh, that made me appreciate life. And so I said, okay, every time on stage is not one more time. It's one less. It's one less. So don't, don't throw it away. Don't come into a room like this and not do your best. You know, take this experience in because you only get so many of them and it's a blessing. The pandemic amplified that for me. Every time I put my foot on stage now, it, it, like, uh, I just well up inside uh, and then it just comes out because this is a blessing. And here we are back trying to get it done, we're all fighting together, and I say the people that are coming to the shows now are the core of the core of the core of what makes music scenes happen. You know, they're out there, they're coming to shows, and if you're gonna come to a record company show, we're gonna throw down with everything we possibly can, because why the hell not? You know, I mean, that is, and work hard, 
and don't expect don't expect anything don't make plans for the big tomorrow live for today and be glad you got the chance you got today and i think that was the big thing that i took from this pandemic and also remembering that some of the things that i saw happen in and mass i think was a symptom of us not being able to get together and be communal through music because when you walk through a door it doesn't matter what opinion you had on the other side of that door you both agree on that band that performer that day and you're dancing together and that's ancient sacred stuff and i think we all needed that to come back pretty bad i know i did so there you go <laughs> all right i'm smart enough to leave it right there we're done <laughs> Once again, live on Austin City Limits Radio, the record company. Hey. That's my cue. Oh, that's my cue, too. One other thing I'll say that just happened, I made a mistake right before I played. That's also one of my favorite things about playing live, making mistakes and getting to play through them. I can't tell you how many shows I've seen where somebody's tripped and fallen and then they, or their guitar string blows up. If you think in your own minds and your cars are in this room, isn't that what you always go home talking about? You're like, remember when that guitar string blew off and you just threw it across stage and they got that new guitar over there? So I just made a mistake on the air and I still consider this a blessing. This song's called Out of My Head. to find a better way to spend my day oh hey how are you i'm just fine let's stop pretending all the time it's getting so loud inside me now i never seem to find a better way to join a crowd Got me, you got me, you got me, yes. You got me, you got me, you got me coming and going. You got me, you got me, you got me coming and gone out of my head. I'm never looking for a fight. But I'm so tired of being right Say what I want Get to the point Guess I want a little bit more Of what I lost, Lord Just start, just start, just start again Gotta make the beginning from the end Everywhere that I go I don't know I guess that every single high comes with low Well, well, well Hey, hey Well, well, well Hey, hey You got me Got me You got me You got me Got me Got me coming and gone. You got me, you got me, you got me coming and gone. Out of my
next song called Life to Fix, so each one of these songs, that last song and the song before the interview, is on that Play Loud record. Be sure to go check that out. I want to thank everybody here listening. I want to thank Andy, and I want to thank my man Alex here for uh, writing this line. He's going to start this song off. Mm -hmm. I want to say something quick here. Get you down. Things ain't going your way. You're feeling lost. Gotta take a hold of something. Grab on to something. Just one thing. Grab on to one thing. And start building. I got this life to fix. Threw it all out in a ditch. Broke it down when I was sick. Gotta build it back up brick by brick. I got this life to fix. Threw it all out in a ditch. Broke it down when I was sick. Gotta build it back up brick by brick. Oh, 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 Every day I wake this way, and some these days I just can't take. Get that money, get that break. You ain't gonna win if you ain't gonna play. Oh, 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 o
Thank you so much, Austin. The record company live on Austin City Limits Radio. That scream like 90 seconds from the end is why you have those three bottle of throat coats there at, at your feet. It's worth the sacrifice, man. There you go. The record company, they play this evening over at the Scoot Inn. You can get tickets at scootinaustin.com. Play Loud is the album. It's available wherever it is you stream or buy your music. May so, I say something? Yeah, go ahead. We're going to throw down tonight. Like, I'm feeling frisky and rowdy. <laughs> so come down, have some beers. We played the Scoot Inn last time. It was a party. If you ain't got your tickets yet, we moved there for a reason to give more people a chance to come see the show. So come on down. I promise. It's gonna, we're gonna, I'm, we're gonna give it everything we got tonight. We're coming to the end of the tour. God, God do it. All right, scoot in this evening. Again, scootinaustin.com. We want to thank our friends at Dell and Lone River Ranch Water. And a little bit later today, we'll have a, uh, another sign up sheet over at acl-radio.com where you can enter to win your way into Monday's Dell Music Lounge which will feature Gavin DeGraw. So more on that at acl-radio.com. Thanks again to the record company. Thanks to our live studio audience. I'm going to throw it back downstairs to Loris. All right. All right.